What's that? How much are your old dictionaries? Um. Morning. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? How much are your old dictionaries? What's that? How much are your old dictionaries? Um, three bucks. Sure. I'll get both of these and this phone too. I'll just set them. Right here, sure, thank you. We're heavy dictionaries. Yeah, they are. I saw your um, coin books. Do you have any coins for sale? No. No, okay. All the coins, <laughs> I think my brother spent when he was down and out for a while. Okay, no worries. Oh, you 675, sir. Okay. There's a 10. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. All righty.
told him you get to stay upstairs and I come down and I'll just write things and pull off their stickers and hey, you need it? No, huh? It's good. How you doing? Okay. If I can see. I put my mask up. Okay, 10. This is 35. This is the oh, like, floor. Oh, that goes on. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any pads that go with this? Didn't find any. Okay. I didn't see them over there. I figured yeah. if you had them, that's where they'd be. So you 45? Mm-hmm. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey guys, it is now Monday morning. I went to three or four sales on Friday. It's November, so there really aren't that many sales to go to, but the ones I did hit, I found a couple things. Not a ton of stuff, but I'll definitely make some decent money on what I found. The first sale I went to, I got these two old dictionaries for $3 each. This one is from, I think, 1927. I saw the same one sell for 46 bucks. And this one right here, I have not looked it up yet. I'm not sure how old it is, so we'll take a look. Okay, 1939. 
I've done well with old dictionaries in the past. You can always get them cheap, and even though they're really heavy, you can ship on media mail, so they won't really cost that much. I'd say each of these will cost, you know, 6 or $7 a ship, and I'll have the buyer pay that. Also, at that sale, I got this old phone. Not as old as a rotary phone, but still has a cool look to it. I'll put it in the antique booth. Uh, paid 75 cents. I should be able to sell it for about 15. These two right here, I found at that estate sale I went to. Everything was really high priced at that estate sale, but I just kept looking and I finally found some stuff to make some money on. This thing right here is a 3D sculpture of Mount Rushmore, sealed in the plastic. I paid 10 bucks. That should sell for about 40. And this right here, the Orbiter, I've actually sold one of these before. I sold one of these maybe three or four months ago. I sold the newer version for about, I want to say it was like maybe 150, 200 bucks. This is a vintage one, but it seems like it's still selling for about the same price. And this one's actually really clean. I paid $35 for it and I expect to get about 150. Whenever you guys are at garage sales, estate sales, whatever, and if you're noticing that everything is really high priced, don't just leave, don't give up. Uh, because typically there's some things that they're not gonna know the full value of. Like that estate sale, I'm sure looked up a lot of stuff and to you know figure out what the eBay price was and that's what they priced it. They priced everything at eBay prices, but they did not look up that 3D sculpture or the Orbiter floor machine. So that's just a little word of advice. Don't give up at sales. Keep looking and you'll probably find something to make some money on. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.